What's up everyone? Are you thinking about buying a home? Well, here's a few things not to do during a home purchase. What's up everybody? A couple things you need to keep track of when you're purchasing a home to make sure that you can go through the transaction as smoothly as possible and get the home of your dreams. Um, a couple things you wanna keep in mind is don't make any big purchases on credit. Um, anything that you do, you need to run by your lender, but if it's outside of your normal spending habits and you're charging things on your credit card or pulling cash advances out, that could potentially ruin your pre-approval and mess up your chances of purchasing your home. So the next thing to keep in mind is paying your bills. I have this question asked to me all the time. Always make sure to pay your bills on time. Don't put things off. If you currently own a home and you're purchasing another one, you do still need to make your mortgage payments and just keep everything as you as it was prior to you getting pre-approved. The reason for that is a lot of times towards the end of a purchase, a lender is going to do a last minute credit check. Typically they're gonna do a last minute credit check and you don't want anything coming up as a collection or a bill that's late because that could potentially screw up your future purchase. Here's another big one that a lot of people don't think about, but when you have money in your bank account, a bank looks at that as reserves. So if you have six months worth of income saved up in your savings account, they're gonna go off of that for your down payment and a few other expenses during, you know, your closing costs and things during your purchase. But what you don't wanna do is start depleting those reserves in your bank account because if they come back and that was part of your pre-approval, again, this could be something that really screws you up in the long run. So make sure Anything big that you're spending money on, if it's cash out of your account, um, and it also depends on what loan you're getting, make sure you check with your current lender about best practices, things that you need to be aware of, and kind of run things by them. Be, let them be the gatekeeper. So if you're looking at buying anything at all, they can tell you if it's a good idea or not, or if it's gonna screw up your pre-approval. Last tip I have for you guys today, and this is a big one. A lot of people think that when they get pre-approved, uh, once they get that pre-approval that they can go ahead and quit the job that they're in or transition to a new employer and this is absolutely one of the worst things you can do. Um, you do not want to change jobs. You do not want to quit your job because at the end of the day, uh, typically the last week or a couple days prior to closing, they're going to do an employment verification with your current employer that you had when you got the pre-approval. And the last thing you want to do is have your lender call and find out that you no longer work there because um, there's nothing worse than spending money on your transaction, getting that close to closing on your dream home, and then being told that uh, you have been denied for your loan. So be sure, stay at your current job. Um, if there's something that comes up in the middle of your loan, whether you get furloughed or um, you need to change jobs for a move, anything like that, run everything by your professional lender and as well as your realtor that you're working with in the transaction. They should be able to help you navigate what's to come. I hope this provides value to you guys and helps you with the purchase of your new home or just in the planning phase if you're thinking about buying a home sometime in the near future. If you have any questions for me, make sure to reach out to me on resourcefulagentrealty.com or on Instagram and Facebook at resourcefulagent. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.